Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about home improvement, more specifically about an episode called The Great Race 2 and where it was filmed. And you won't believe what actually happened, what they actually had to do to the airport. Other than that, there's some trickery involved in this episode. I'll explain all of it to you, so stay tuned and let's get started. Now this episode comes from season three, it's episode 25. It's called The Great Race 2, as I mentioned, and it aired May 25th, 1994. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you will know that Tim Taylor, you know, the macho man, the tool man, he had a few arch nemesis in the course of the series. He had many people that he didn't like, didn't get along with, but it was a comedic tone that went along with it. One of them was Bob Vila. Yep, the Bob Vila, the home improvement guy that was seen on the show as a little more successful than Tim Taylor, just a little more popular. And they always had this ri rivalry going. In this episode, they had a rivalry between their hot rods. That is, which one was better, which one was faster. And so they had essentially a race. Now, before that, they had a tool man auction on tool time to help raise money for Jill's fundraiser for the library. And later on, we see Bob Vila coming in. And since he's the guest star, they raise more money because he's on there. And Tim is a little sad. I mean, he's a little disappointed that he himself couldn't raise more money than Bob Vila. So the rivalry continues. This is the second time they had a race. The first time it was a lawnmower race. But then Tim challenges Bob to a hot rod race. And what he says, this is the actual wording. Remember, the show takes place in Detroit, Michigan. It actually was filmed at Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California. And Tim says, meet me at the old airport, you know, the military one by I-94. We know none of that is true. Why? Because it was filmed in Burbank, California. So where did they go? What airport did they go to? Of course, the Burbank Airport in Burbank, California. Now, you'll be surprised to know that for the shots that took place at the quote unquote airport, which was the airport, it was nowhere in Michigan, it was at the Burbank Airport, and they actually had to shut down the entire Burbank Airport. They had to shut it down completely. No inbound flights, no outbound flights flights in order to do the filming of this episode. Now, what was great about this, what ties into myself, it's one of my favorite shows ever. I actually landed a plane myself at the Burbank Airport, pretty much here, runway eight, um, which is just right off, just right next to the taxiway where they filmed this scene where the hot rods are. And I never knew that up until this point. I did it a few years ago and it's really, really cool. Remember. Burbank has international flights, really big aircraft, jetliners, as well as small aircraft that can land there, much like the two-seaters or four-seaters that I fly. I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm just going to quickly break down the race. We see both hot rods basically put here. For those people who don't know, this is a taxiway. This is where the planes usually take the course, take the road, quote unquote, to go to the runway where you actually take off. So they are not on a runway. You can tell that by the line markers and so forth. You can even look behind Tim in this shot. I'll point it out to you. You see two signs. You see D in black and you see an arrow in D8. Essentially, this is denoting taxiways and directions. So what this does, it gives me the exact position of where they were at relative to this shot. Now in Hollywood, they do use a lot of trickery in terms of making things look bigger and exaggerating, things like that, just to make the shot look perfect. So in my opinion, and from what I've been doing here, this is what I believe happened, and I believe this very strongly. So let me show you this in detail, using this as a reference point, as you can see, this is runway eight. They did not do the filming here on the actual runway, but just off of it on what is called the taxiway right over here. However, we are led to believe that the car is lined up here and raced in this direction, basically going down this long, long, long straight. But that's actually not true. That's not what happened. A couple clues we have. If we zoom in here, we see this right over here. This is called an ILS piece of equipment. We won't get into all the details. Let me just rotate the viewpoint because if we compare 
the ILS equipment, the box here with the tower, there's a tower right here, the demarcations here, and then the signs for the Delta Taxiway D and Delta 8, Taxiway D8, then we can see that the cars actually took this road. It was actually shorter than we're led to believe because there is a curve coming up. So with editing and clever things that I will show you, you can definitely see that the cars raced to about here and they probably stopped right about here. It was a fairly short length of road and the indication is of course this curve, this grassy patch and the ILS which is only present here. So that's very, very cool. Something to note here when they're during the first shot, they switch the markers around the stop signs and everything and they're actually looking down this side, I'll change the angle here, where it looks like it just goes on forever because it's so far, right, over here. Uh, but they didn't actually race that way. And the indication, again, is this marker that is on uh, behind the cars versus in front of the cars uh, in which they would be racing this way. So, yep, they're racing to the right. Uh, there was less in the way. That's just my opinion. But if you look here, and it's a really cool shot, they're trying to make it seem like these cars are going for a while and a while. It's like they're accelerating to 100 miles an hour. That's what you believe. But what's actually happening, they're only going about 50 to 100 feet max. Why? In this shot, there's several cuts. And what they have right here is the beacon, the ILS equipment over here. And then the finish line, which was digitally inserted, it wasn't even in the taxiway. They probably did that to save money so they wouldn't paint it on the actual airport because that would interfere with planes the next day when they had when they had flights again. So it's just interesting to note where this actually was at the Burbank airport. They had to shut it down. And the bit of trickery that they used to make it seem like the cars were driving long distances, they didn't use the runway probably for safety and just practicality. They use a taxiway and they use it for a short length of, of essentially taxiway space. They didn't go the full length of the airport and they didn't need to essentially. They just did a couple cuts and with editing, they made it look perfectly. I wanna know your thoughts down below. Do you wanna see more of the Home Improvement TV show? Let me know by Tell me in the comments below by hitting that subscribe button, by hitting the thumbs up button. I am challenging myself to reach 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. I can only do that with your help, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone who supports me, especially my diamond tier patrons. Vito L, David D, Sally N, Ricky, Citizen Kane 359, Kevin K, Greg S. Thank you as well to my new gold tier patrons, Jennifer P and Scott F. To be listed here, check out the links below for my Patreon.